Yeah. Uh, another important question, dear students, uh, from the subjects, examples. Find the locus of midpoints of the dots of contact of x square plus y square equal to a square from the points lying on the line. So first midpoints of the chords, first given circle, first step is given circle, x square plus y square is equal to a square, we put that equation number 1, the rough figure, it may comes like this, this is the chord equation, midpoint of chords, x1, y1. What is the formula for midpoint of chords with respect to the circle S is equal to 0? The midpoint of chords, the midpoints of chords of P with respect to equation 1 is S1 is equal to S11. This equation is S1 equal to S11. So, S1 for this xx1 plus yy1 minus a square is equal to S11 for this x1 square plus y1 square minus a square. Both sides minus a square is going to get cancelled. And xx1 plus yy1 minus of x1 square plus y1 square is equal to 0. You put that equation number 2. Next, the locus of midpoints of chord of contacts from the points lying on that line. So, indirectly, this point is for the required locus, this point is a pole. So, the poles of the pole of this line with respect to this circle is lying on this line. So, you have to imagine that figure, uh, dear students. This is the point we have taken over here, midpoint of chords. So, for the required circle, this point is a pole. So that means it may be the circle may be like this. So the pole of this line with respect to this circle. Before that, I will write one important formula. The pole of this line in the previous classes in we discussed the pole of Lx plus my plus n is equal to zero with respect to x square plus y square is equal to r square is minus lr square by n comma minus mr square by n. So by using this uh, formula, this is the important formula. Why we are taking that pole means this point is for the required circle it is a pole. So that's why the pole of the pole of the line, the line means equation 2, compared with Lx plus My plus N, here only I am writing, compared with Lx plus My means here L is equal to X1, M is equal to Y1, N is equal to minus of X1 square plus Y1 square. The pole of the line equation 2 with respect to equation 1, with respect to equation 1 is so write formula x comma y is equal to minus l r square minus l l value is what x1 r square r square is a square here by n n value is what minus of x1 square plus y1 square comma minus m r square minus m m value is y1 into a square by minus x1 square plus y1 square so here minus, here minus, here minus, here minus get cancelled. We will get it as a square x1 by x1 square plus y1 square, comma a square y1 by x1 square plus y1 square. This pole lies on the line. That only they said from the points lying on the line. So this x comma y seems. The point x comma y since the point x comma y lying on the line Lx plus m y plus n is equal to zero, then we have 
So wherever x comma y is there, you have to replace with these values. A square, sorry, L A two. A square x one by x one square plus y one square plus M A two A square by one by x one square plus y one square plus n is equal to zero. So take LCM here. x1 square plus y1 square lcm so a square x1 into l plus a square y1 into n plus n into x1 square plus y1 square is equal to 0 so cross multiply and from these two a square take common lx1 plus m y1 Plus n into x1 square plus y1 square is equal to zero. Therefore, the locus of point P. Therefore, the locus of point P. So wherever x1 y1 is there, replace with x comma y. A square into lx plus m y plus m into x square plus y square is equal to zero. This is the way we can give the answer. Yes, friends. They are asking to find the locus. This is the required locus. The point we assume that uh, the locus point. I hope you understand. We'll take that another example in another video. Thank you.